Hello, Sam from Tool Hut here today. Today's project is we have a 2012 Chevy Malibu. Uh, doesn't have any drivability complaints or any codes. We're going to do a uh, cam crank correlation on it. Okay, according to my service information here, I wanted 45, 46, and 47. That's a yellow, orange, and a dark green connector. So I pulled my UCM out, got the connector pulled back. And I got some piercing probes in here on 45, 46, and 47. I also have the mass airflow sensor unplugged. I also have the variable valve timing solenoids unplugged. And I'll put the pattern up on the screen once you get it. So we got one, two, and three channels. Uh, channel one is the crank sensor. Channel two, the orange wire, is the intake sensor and channel three uh, is going to be the exhaust sensor all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our known good our known good is a 2013 malibu with a 2.4 two days after the timing chain was installed at the dealer so i think this is a pretty good known good uh, i took this pattern myself so the best known goods are the ones that you do yourself so you know that things are done the same so our blue trace is our crank sensor the red is our exhaust cam and the green is the intake cam I will tell you that the red and the green are reversed between our known good and the uh, subject vehicle uh, doesn't really make any difference it's gonna work out just fine so uh, notice that the uh, intake cam is almost directly on the fifth line before the gap and that the exhaust cam is almost the second line right after the gap uh, I'm not going to get real technical with this it's again it's for maintenance we're not really trying to uh, correct a problem we're just trying to see if there is a problem developing so we got our known good here or our subject vehicle we've already looked at our known good and in our subject vehicle we notice that the uh, red line the intake cam is at the leading edge or the edge closer to the gap and then the green one is about one and a half teeth instead of the two teeth that the other one was uh, and this was a the gap the width of the crank sensor tooth separated so the question is since they don't give us these known good patterns at the factory spec what's too far off uh, I know that I know for a fact working on these that it takes about three teeth for them to uh, start triggering any kind of codes we're obviously not three teeth off the interesting thing to me is that it looks like we're getting closer together between the cams so that tells me that we've got some slack between the chains so my suspicion is is the guide on the t on the valve cover or underneath the valve cover there has broken or uh, worn out substantially again we're not getting any noise from this engine there's no codes not really trying to fix anything I'm trying to prevent a problem uh, this is my brother's car he's planning on keeping the car for a couple of years so I'd be interested to hear your opinions do you think this is justifies uh, putting a chain in it uh, I am putting a chain in it so I guess it really doesn't make any difference what your opinion is but I am putting a chain set in it and I will get a uh, new pattern once I get the chain put in this vehicle uh, and then we can I guess we can discuss it further from there for all you everybody concerned that I pierced the wires there I went I would repaired them before I put it all back together here this also brings up a point I kind of wanted to touch on. So, if you have a scope, how easy would it be to go to the customer 
and sell this as a maintenance job. I know this one's not that far off. Uh, I know this one might be a tough sale, but there's no codes. There's no drivability complaints. Like I said, I am putting a chain in it. I think it would be easy to tell, explain to the customer it's going to cost you X amount of dollars today or after it bends the valves, does further damage, the pan's got to come off to clean it out, etc., etc., that it's going to cost more money. So I see this as the value, the power of a scope. You can use this picture to explain to the customer that you know, you recommend selling the timing chain today. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell if you want to be notified as I release new things. Uh, feel free to add any comments, suggestions, questions into the comment section. I will try to uh, reply to them. Have a great day.